Welcome blog and welcome also to the 30 day challenge day number 24. Sitting here with my lovely juice after um, after some 10 minute priming, did some breathing, did 100 push ups. Now I'm going to do the 10, write down the 10 things I'm grateful for. Also did that last night. Uh, not close, not all 10, not up to 10, but uh, it's really a good practice. Um, yes, so um, I'm almost close at the end of my 30 day challenge and I really like that this juice, uh, both in energy, has helped me and also getting into a really good habit in the morning. So really beneficial and I really like it. So I definitely recommend it and uh, you can try it for yourself. It's in the link below or above wherever you are, YouTube, Instagram or Facebook. So with that, have a great day and all the best to you. Ciao. Hello there vlog and welcome to the Daily G number 36. As you've seen, I took my juice this morning and I'm continuing the routine, morning routine. And uh, today I'm going to continue the teaching of the stick man. And actually this, this episode is just going to be a sort of a wrap up and I'm just going to kind of go with the flow and see, see what happens. Uh, in the next episode after this one, I'm going to go into uh, six mental faculties that we have as human beings, which are really important and really important to be aware of because that's the way you can improve yourself in many ways. But I'll get more into that in the next video. Um, and that would be uh, number 37. So um, if you didn't um, watch my um, last two daily Gs, number 34 and number 35, I really recommend doing so. But I'm just going to go with the flow with this one, so it might even not matter. But the thing about this is that it's a repetition that will make the changes uh, in your life when it comes to uh, something new. Um, so here again we have the, the stick man, we have our five senses, um, we can see, hear, taste, smell and touch, and this is, this whole thing is the image of our mind. It's, it's a way to bring order into our mind, into our head and our brain when it comes to how our mind looks like because usually we don't have an idea of what our mind looks like. And that's why we are often confused and don't know how to change things. Because when we think in pictures, and that's the way we usually have order in our mind when we, um, when we think about anything, um, when we don't have an image of our mind, it becomes harder to change our lives. So this is um, image of our mind. This is our conscious, this is our subconscious, this is the body. That body um, goes with, takes action and produces, and that will go with results. Another word for our conscious mind is our thinking mind. Another word for our subconscious mind is, is our uh, emotional mind. And it's also our paradigm. It's where our, our habits are. It's a multitude of habits. That's what a paradigm is. Um, in the last videos, I talked a lot about that we can reject and accept anything we want um, into our lives with our conscious mind. And the subconscious mind can only accept everything. It accepts everything. So that means that we have to be really aware of what it is that we are actually taking into our lives. Because if we're not aware of that, we will unconsciously sabotage ourselves because we will, um, um, we will just take everything in and we at, 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 and then when we keep doing that, we will then have a paradigm based on things from the outside. And when that happens, we will blame the outside as well because we're not aware of that we are actually responsible for that happening. Um, and it's really important because that's the way we tend to blame other people, our society and so on. <laughs> if, if of any person, if you know me and if you don't know me, I have done that for years on end, blaming my parents, my you know, my relationships, my, you know, society, you know, all the different things in society and so on. And it really comes down to ourselves all the time. And if we're not aware of that, um, that you know, we just doomed that we, we can't really live um, the way we want to. Um, so my question to you in this video was uh, in the headline, how to make the changes? How do you do that? How do you actually make a change in your life? How do you make any change? How do you make this concept work for once? And how do you how do you become wealthier? How do you become uh, in better shape? How do you become healthier? How do you anything that is sort of these these seven or ten main things that we as humans really want um, to have established in our lives in terms of relationships or anything? 
um, especially when we don't have it now. How can we just begin to think about something new and then it will, will, will appear? Um, the thing is that uh, our paradigm here, all the habits that we have gotten there, we have gotten that because of repetition. We have kept been, we have been in an environment or we've been thinking the same thoughts or we have done the same things over and over again that eventually made our paradigm be the way it is, our unconscious, our, our habits, whatever they are. And we can reverse that. Now when we understand that we actually have a choice, we can reject and accept any idea any uh, person saying anything to us, we have a choice in accepting or rejecting that idea. If somebody doesn't like us and tell us straight to our face, we can reject that. Yeah, that's your problem, it's not mine. Or uh, somebody says giving, up, giving us advice uh, about something that can help, uh, you know, it could be a psychologist, it could be something about our health, uh, a nutrition uh, person teaching us about nutrition. Um, we can uh, accept that and say, okay, yes, I want to implement that in my life because it can make my life better. The challenge is that in our paradigm, if we are, have been in poor health, for example, and, um, and we want to change something, and we want to take this advice from this other person, our paradigm can say, no, I don't want to do that. And a reaction could be like, I can't do that, or I don't want to do that, or I'm lazy, or... I don't have the circumstances to do this and that. I don't have a weight room. I don't have weights. I don't have a bicycle. You know, there's many different things that come up as an excuse. But it's not really just an excuse. It's because there are so many things that we've been used to here that reject that idea because we've not been used to that. So the thing is, we have to consciously repeat things over and over to make this change. And that could take a long time can also take a short amount of time. But the way you do that is to really um, get clear on what kind of health you want. You want to focus on eating more fruits and vegetables. You want to focus on running or walking more. Or you want to do push-ups in the morning. Or you want to do some kind of morning routine. That's, that's well and good. What is important is that you actually begin to, to practice feeling that. How would it feel like to actually feel healthy? Have you experienced that earlier in your life? Go back to that state. How, how does that feel like? Because as soon as you set your body into the emotional state and that kind of frequency, that vibra those vibrations, that's where we go into, um, that's opposite here, that's when we go into the actions that will actually produce the results that we will start um, imagining up here. And that's so important. Um, no change will be fast. No change will be a miracle. But it's the starting point of taking the steps every single day. I don't think there's anything absolute. I don't think that this stick person works for everybody in the entire world. I mean, it's one image. It's one idea. And you can accept and reject that. And that's your choice and your responsibility. And it's all good. Um, what this can do for you, though, is to get, get this image in your mind so when, when thoughts come up later on in, in life or in a day and, and, and you, you feel that this, there's this negativity or this um, um, resistance towards this new idea of perhaps you know, better health, um, you can begin to be more aware of that you are taking that choice. You are making that choice. But when you begin to continue to think about, no, I want to make a change and continue to think about those changes you want to make, begin to get into that emotional state and begin to take those actions that are needed. Um, that's where repetition comes in. You have to repeat, you know, this up here a lot. You have to, you know, create a goal. You have to think about it. You have to tell yourself, I'm healthy. And it sounds ridiculous because you don't feel healthy. But the reason why you don't feel healthy is because you have told yourself that you're not healthy for so long that you feel unhealthy, that you feel that this is not working, that this won't work. But it's the paradigm that, that rejects, rejects that, that you're healthy. And it feels like a lie, that you're lying to yourself. And it's, it's horrible to feel that way. But you have to change that. You have to change that. The only way you can do that is to tell yourself that I'm healthy. I feel too healthy. I want to do something that makes me healthy. I want to feel like this. I want to do this. I want to uh, be more, have more energy and create that image in your mind and repeat that over and over again and, and really get into that state of how that will feel like. 
Because as soon as you do that, taking action is so much more easy. And that's when the actions and the be that behavior will turn into results eventually. But it's a repetition. It's something every day, every day, every day, every day. There's no shortcuts here. Every day. And that's the way you change your life. Start here. Start in your conscious mind. Make an image of what you want, how you want to feel like, how you want to, how you want to live. And repeat that every day. Get into the emotional vibration of it. Meditate, yoga, whatever. And, 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 and through those repetitions, you will begin eventually to feel a difference. And that's the Daily G for today. I really, really hope that you will take this into consideration. If this makes sense to you, but you want more information, talk to me. Contact me because I can teach you this and I want to teach you this. It's really a powerful concept and something I really love. So I hope this will help. This was helpful. In the next video, I will go into the sex mental faculties, which are, it might be a long video, it might be two videos, but I think it's something that really will bring value to you. Because as soon as you are aware of these, you will be able to use this even better because you will be aware of um, the foundation for yourself and that can make a, be a tremendous, um, be a tremendous difference for you. So with that, daily G number 36 is over and out and number 37 will come up. I hope you want to follow along and I look forward to share it with you. So ciao for now.